hello guys and welcome to my channel once again at lola superstar world today we're going to speak about the lovely the beautiful the stunning megan good yeah that's right we're going to talk about our queen sister who is slaying she is slaying in every aspect of her life in her career in her relationship right about now her name is everywhere but what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about her current relationship but before we can do that we have to go back to the past we have to go back to the past to where this all started from Megan Good is beautiful and stunning she's been in Hollywood as an actress for over 30 years and right about now it seems that she's evolved into a new light but as it is with my channel I like to talk about the lessons I like to bring forth the biblical lessons with current information that is trending at the moment so let's dig deep if you haven't already like follow and subscribe my name is Lola at Lola Superstar World let's get in it today yo hey hey well, another celebrity couple who many idolized is now divorcing. It was recently announced that actress Megan Good and her husband, Devon Franklin, are breaking up after nine years of marriage. It was through a book they promoted together entitled The Wait. This book pretty much talked about the value of waiting to have intercourse before marriage. So you believe that waiting, meaning not having sex, we're really clear, it means not having sex. Until marriage. Until you get married. Helps God to reveal things that you would have missed. Oh, yeah. Yes. How so? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's interesting because when we got together, we both knew that we were going to wait. And what we learned during the process was because we weren't being intimate in that way, we were able to really see each other for who we are. Megan Good and her ex-husband, Devon Franklin, a preacher, they started off their marriage or their courtship in a very holy and dignified marriage, in a very holy and dignified manner, in the sense that they were both mature. I think they had previous relationships in the past. I believe they'd been intimate with other people in, in the past. But in this relationship, I think Megan was at a point where she had so many relationships that didn't end well, where she wanted something holy, real, and she wanted something for real that would last. So during this relationship, they started off and they were both celibate. They both made a conscious decision together to start off this courtship in a way that glorifies God. So I absolutely applaud them for that because not many people do that, celebrities or non-celebrities. So doing that and promoting that, by the time they got married, they were on a promotional tour um, for their book called The Wait. That's what they were doing the interview with Oprah Williams for. They did that in churches in so many different ways. So their foundation was amazing. And they spoke about the importance of celibacy. When God makes these rules, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication. They're not old fashions. It's not just in the Old Testament. He does it because he knows what happens if you go out of the boundaries of his rules. When you are celibate before intimacy or before courtship or marriage, you are able to see, truly see a person for who they are. You're able to see them physically, but also spiritually. Your eyes are open. Your eyes and your level of discernment is open. Also, you've got the principle of God behind you because it's a holy requirement to be celibate until marriage. All this hookup culture that we're so used to, that is glamorised in social media and rap music all over the world, is ungodly. It is not of God. Just because everyone is doing it, we shouldn't be doing it. As Christians, as everybody, we're in the world, in the world, but we are not meant to be a part of the world. So, I said it to say this: their foundation in terms of their courtship was perfect. So the reason is, what happened? Why is that now her ex-husband? Why did Devon Franklin? file for divorce after nine years of marriage to Megan Good. And I'm going to give you a bit of an example as to what I feel went wrong spiritually that opened up the door, that opened up the room for that evil, for that evil seed or for that demonic weapon formed against them to shatter what they have. Please watch on. I'm going to say something to you. <laughs> I, no, 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 no. This is not Your offensive. I, I'm, yes, I do. Question. There is not offensive, but I was at um, the grocery store and I looked at a newsstand and I saw you and you had your breast shown. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, as women, we should dress with modesty. We should wear respectable apparel. Our clothes does not need to be over elaborate. We do not need to have overly flashy jewelry. Be modest in all that we do. 
And the reason why I'm saying this, this was one of the tours. So at this point, Megan and her husband had been married for not that long. Um, they were on their tour, their book tour of weight, celebrating how they waited before they were intimate, which is amazing. That That is godly. That's what you're supposed to do. And they went on this tour. They went to different churches. They spoke to Oprah. They spoke to so many people. And there was a woman there who saw a magazine of Megan Good. Obviously, she's been in Hollywood for 30 years now. She's been acting since she was about four in her youth. So obviously, she's she's grown up in Hollywood. And even though she was married to her preacher husband, her her the complete transformation hadn't taken place and the woman was like I wanted to come on this tour but because of what I saw I saw you in a way where I can see your your bits your bits that should be preserved for your husband I saw that in a magazine and this woman was almost not about to come to watch the show but the Holy Spirit told her to come anyway so let's speak on so even dress sense alone as women we have to be modest and on top of that Megan at this point is married to a preacher and we're living in a world where the less the better but that is not of god we're meant to cover up because even with your eyes you can cause someone to see if a man looks at you lustfully with the desire in his mind he's already committed either fornication or adultery and that's the same for women as well so we have to make sure we are not dressing in a way to capture people or to allow them to fall into sin let's watch on so i wasn't gonna come here i wasn't but the Lord brought me here to see you. You're beautiful. And the Lord let me come to push past the judgment. Hold up. Okay, because this is real. Because you have to make sure what you say and what you do match up. You understand? Okay, so we're going to cover up, right? We gonna cover Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. That ain't, that ain't, no, that is not what we're here for. She's not going to cover up. She's going to wear what she want to wear in the name of Jesus. Say what now, brother Devon Franklin? She can wear whatever she wants. Really? I don't think the Bible says that. The Bible talks about modesty. The Bible talks about wearing respectable apparel for a reason. We should not lead people into sin. There was a reason why Adam and Eve covered themselves in the garden as soon as they ate from the apple because they could see each other's nakedness. So we can't wear whatever we want. We can't dress however we want. Especially if we're dressing in a way that 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 would that can promote or can lead someone to fall into sin. And to put in the name of Jesus on top of it, God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. That is a big error. Especially when someone was just trying to be correctful, respectfully, using the word of God. And the thing is, is what we have to remember, the man is the head of the household. I believe, and I'm not quite sure, but I believe, well, Devon was, um, Devon Franklin at the time, or is still now, was a preacher. Megan was coming from the world. It's part of your responsibility to help her or to train her or to guide her on this transition of holiness. So if anything, you shouldn't be saying that. Especially when, so, I mean, I get it. I get it. He was trying to, you know, defend his wife. He felt he was trying to protect her honour. But right is right and wrong is wrong. If anything, you should have been the one to speak to her. You should have been the one making sure you're seeing over what she's doing. So that if she's dressed in a certain way, that it doesn't coincide or it doesn't, you know, go against the morals that you're teaching in your church. Because it makes you look bad. Not only does it make you look bad, it's a false representation of the word of God, of the church. Everything that you are representing, what you are teaching and what you're bringing out to the world. So, so yeah, so, yeah, I personally feel that that was off. Um, putting the name of Jesus on that was not right. And we'll listen more because he didn't just say it once. Let's go. Amen. 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 She gonna wear what she wants to wear in the name of Jesus. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Absolutely. God bless you. We love you. I love you dearly. But there is... The, she has been as Christian as she has been that she is right now when she's worn whatever she got what she wanted to wear. So, uh-uh, we ain't, we ain't doing that. No. I love you. Shoot, y'all, y'all about to see a whole nother Devon. Y'all ain't seen Remember, I am from Oakland now. <laughs> T 
Till today, I'm still gobsmacked by what happened in that scene. That happened almost 10 years ago. It happened in the beginning of their marriage when they were promoting their book, um, The Weight. And, you know, what it just makes me remember is pride comes before a fall. I'm not saying that he is a prideful person. I literally think he was caught off sight. He wasn't expecting that kind of result. And he just reacted. Or maybe he was just himself. But what started with a lot of people back then and even even now was that your pastor, you meant to be preaching. Yes, we understand you love your wife. Your wife is beautiful. No one can deny that. But you shouldn't have any idols. And you know what? Your wife and the beauty of your wife can even be an idol to the point where you can forget God. Your wife cannot wear whatever she wants and then you put in the name of Jesus. No. People cover up for a reason. They sin. God does not like sexual sin. Looking at someone in a lustful way, in your heart, you've already committed fornication and, and adultery. That's how God is playing it. This is not even the act, just by looking. So you can't. And maybe he didn't know that. I don't know. But he didn't say it once. He didn't say it again twice. He said it a few times. And then he went on to say, I'm from Compton, I'm from this. And he went on to kiss his wife. I generally do believe he was just looking to you know to protect her but he the way he went about it was off and that's why the bible talks about not being unevenly yoked not saying that she wasn't a good or a bad person but it's like ideally for a guy that is a preacher if he married another preacher or if he married a woman of god things like this would have been ideally something that they would have known from a base basic level so it, it, it's one of those things. If you marry someone that is a bit on your level spiritually, yes, there's still going to be trials and tribulations, but it wouldn't be as much. But equally, uh, as a man, you what is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. Yes, that's your wife. Yes, you love her. OK, you didn't think your wife would be publicly pointed out for the things that she's doing that is offensive to God. But you, you, you should have handled this or we would have hoped you would have handled this in a way that is more pleasing to God. You could have said thank you for your comment. We're working on it. Oh, God bless you with your comment. I hear you. I left it as that. No judgment, no nothing. But I think that display, doing that, saying what you say, she can wear whatever she wants and, and then putting in the name of Jesus on it, not once but twice, then saying, I'm about to almost lose my religion. They don't know where I'm from. I'm from, whoa, 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 whoa. I do believe that's what put a spiritual error or put the marriage in a track or put it on a course on the left. Because as that marriage, um, you know, went, went forward over the years, Megan did wear whatever she wanted. Not only did she wear whatever she wanted in the course of the marriage, she acted however she wanted in the course of the marriage. I'm not saying acted within their relationship. She's an actress. She took on lots of different plays, lots of different shows. She even did a particular play with Michael Ely, The Intruder, where people were going on and on and on about the scene, the intimate scene that she did with her acting partner. Fair enough, she was only acting, but they were going on and on about it. A bit like what's going on with Jonathan Majors now, Megan Good and Michael Ealing, where they all met each other and they were hugging. It was it was just trending online. In that scene, for her job, <laughs> Megan was wearing very little. Are you going to say she can wear whatever she wants and put in the name of Jesus on it? She was hardly wearing anything. And fair enough, it's her job, but the way she was acting, whew, people were like, what is going on? And that was trending all online. And it was shameful. Shameful for a preacher's wife to be acting on TV and to be doing things that you should only be doing with your husband. Well, acting it out. Alluring to that in public. It was almost like seeing a P-O-R-N-O. -O. Light has no place with darkness. What is this? You are a preacher's wife. People look up to preachers, whether they are in Christ or not. They look up to them with a certain level of holiness and standard. People look up to that, so that's what they try to, to be like. Or they look at you as the, the living example of what righteousness should be. But you have a wife that is doing all sorts on TV openly. And I don't want to be judgmental because I like Megan Good too. But when you're married to a preacher, there's certain things that people expect. And that's when it gets con confusing. And this is what that lady's saying. You've got to act like what you say. You've got to, if you're, if you're saying something, you've got to kind of act it out as well. Your preacher's wife, but everything you're doing seems to be extraordinarily worldly, worldly to the T. As Christians, we're in the world, but we're not meant to be of the world. As Christians, yeah, you can come as you are. 
But at some point, there has to be some kind of spiritual transformation. But if years into the marriage, we're seeing you wearing whatever you want. And clearly, I guess, maybe your husband doesn't mind. You wear whatever you want. Not only are you wear whatever you want, you are on TV, you have influence. And you're doing all these things that are just a bit wild. You'd think someone who never knew Christ was doing that. Not someone who is married to a preacher. And I think this could have been one of the thorns, a major thorn that caused a dent in their marriage. I, I do believe so. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying what I believe so. And I think sometimes when you sin, when you sin against God certain you are when you sin in general certain doors are unlocked and you invoke certain things to start happening into your life look at king david when he laid down with Bathsheba, who was a married woman he laid down with her when the men were at war he got her pregnant because the men were at war and she had not laid down with her husband it was obvious that she laid down with somebody else so he tried to bring her husband down to lay with his wife but her husband was an honorable man he said my brothers are at war they're being slain how can i lay with my wife while my brothers are at, are at war so he did not go near to his wife but his wife was now pregnant so because of that because the crime of this adultery could not be hidden and there was a, a baby about to come out nine months later that's how Bathsheba's husband was sent to the toughest part of the war by King David and that's how he was slain and because of that um, prophet um, Nathan came and spoke to um, King Dan I mean yeah to King David and he told him the anger and wrath of God and God said because of this you're going to have calamity in your household and from then then on there was so many different stuff evil was evoked in his household it was so much because of this sin and I do believe on that day when he said, my wife can wear whatever she wants in the name of Jesus. I think that brought a strain into that relationship where she Id where he idolized his wife in public. and thought the approval of my wife is better than saying the truth and better than adhering to the word of God. I don't know if he repented of it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what happened behind closed door, but I personally believe and I may be wrong. It's my opinion. I believe this is one of the, the spiritual things that affected their relationship. Let's now fast forward to the current day. It's almost been two and a half years since Megan's divorce from her ex husband, Devin Franklin. Megan Good is now in a relationship with Jonathan um, Majors, who is an ex Hollywood actor ex in the sense that i mean he had an amazing year before he was charged and convicted of dv with his now current ex-girlfriend jonathan uh, majors was starring in king in the latest marvel universal movie that was going to put his career or literally skyrocket his career to another realm prior to that he had appeared in lovecraft as well as also appearing in creed 3 which was amazing i mean literally in 2023 he had creed 3 he had the marvel movie he did quantum quantum tarotarium he had quantum quantumanium and he was literally um, filming or starting his role as king the new baddie in marvel and all of that came crashing down when his um dv case with his ex-girlfriend came out i'm saying that to say this megan has been dating jonathan majors since then um she's only been divorced for almost two years and she's been trending again all over social media everywhere i mean Megan Good has been in Hollywood for over 30 years. She's beautiful. She's had a stunning career. So she always trends. But what was more unique about what is going on with her and her current boyfriend was that infamous hug. This has only literally been a few days ago. Her infamous hug with Michael Ely, who she has starred in on many occasions in lots of movies. And people, one of the main things that people are talking about, how she disrespected her boyfriend, was it appropriate the way she allowed that married man, Michael Ely, to hug her in front of her man, especially when it looked like her, uh, Michael Ely was disrespecting her man. I mean, so many things. There's been so many different allegations that or things that have been said. And I'll show you the video in a bit. But one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why we are highlighting this today, M Megan's husband divorced her. Megan has been in Hollywood for over 30 years. Megan had a transformation or what she thought was a transformation 
on her walk of righteousness. But within her nine years of marriage, lots of things transpired. There is no report at the moment that we know of, of infidelity. But what we do know of, number one, her ex-husband definitely said she can wear whatever she wants in the name of Jesus. When someone in the congregation was pointing out a fact that her dress sense is not the modest apparel that you would associate with a Christian. Number one. Number two, throughout her marriage with her ex-husband, Megan continued with her Hollywood career. And she's a pretty girl. She's pretty. She's young. Most of the time when she's in a movie, she's always the love interest to someone. And on many occasions, she's had very questionable scenes. Once again, that you sh- that you would not kind of intertwine with a woman who is dating a man of God or a woman who's now transformed into a Christian walk of life. She was literally almost doing P-O-R-N on TV, if not that. And coincidentally, one of the movies that she did while she was still married to her ex-husband was called The Intruder, where she starred alongside Mr. Michael Ely. She played his wife in that movie and they had a very interesting S-E-X scene that was literally going viral, that people were talking about it all the time. And I think this was one of the things that I think, I think, I'm not sure, allegedly I'll say, that her her ex-husband just couldn't take anymore. He loved his wife. Yes, she's beautiful, but it was too much. Despite the fact that they were married and they were in this relationship for nine years, it seems that she was more married to her career and more married to, you know, whatever whatever was required of her within her career, in her career, despite the fact, number one, she's meant to be transformed in the spirit as a woman of God. And number two, she has a husband at home. Why is the whole world seeing your bits, that you, your precious, your precious jewels that you should be giving to your husband? Why is it all paraded all over the TV? And this is what is now happening again in this relationship with Jonathan uh, Majors, who has been allegedly well I wouldn't even say allegedly he's been convicted of dv even that is a speculation in itself because so many videos has come out of him actually running away from his ex-girlfriend in questions but he's got a reputation of dv and now you are meeting your friend mr ely michael ely who is a married man fair enough you've known each other for years you haven't seen each other in a while Fair enough, I get it, you're good friends. But what got the whole nation talking was the fact that when you you hugged him, you jumped up, he lifted you up, you put your legs around him. It was just a very kind of weird kind of hug that you wouldn't associate a woman who's with her man to do right in front of her man and other people. It was just very strange and it got the whole nation. It definitely had the whole nation talking, talking. That video with... Megan Good hugging up on Michael Ely and Jennifer Majors being side-eyed or just ig- totally ignored. Yeah, it got the nation talking. But since then, my people, since then, since then, a lot more has happened. There's been rumours of a, br- a breakup, li- which literally was trending online on social media, X, you name it, online saying that they'd broken up. And they said they'd broken up because now he's got a good movie, a new movie that is that he's, you know, recording at the moment which is due to be another breakout hit for him it could smoothen the path since he's you know he's encounter and his trial and being convicted of you know of dv with his ex-girlfriend so basically he's filming at the moment things seem to be going well and then there's rumors swelling around that he's dumped our good megan what and all of this happened prior to that a few months later there's been rumors that megan is footing all the bills for herself and her man since he hasn't been able to work ever since he caught a case. I'm like, what? 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 And then to top it off, my people, yes, my Lola lights, to top it off, now there's rumours going around that they're engaged. Yo, this is a lot, a lot, a lot. Tell me if you don't want me to do a part two. Tell me if you don't want me to dissect all of these past few trending events that's been going on with our girl Megan and Jonathan Majors. I mean, I am down for black love. I'm here for it. I love it. I want it. Yes. But let it be true, black love. Let it be true. Do not use our girl. Not saying she's being used. I'm just putting it out there. Let it be true. Do not use black love as a PR stunt to build up your career. We are not here for it at all. At all, at all. And also, marriage is a holy sacrament ordained by God. God will not be mocked. The marriage bed cannot be defiled. 
marriage is about love sharing your life together not using it as a way to for for clout to keep up you know your momentum for new movies let it be real or leave it alone it is holy yo i am 110 percent here for it and i'm ready to do a deep dive on our sister girl megan part two you know that hit me up and let me know but as for now my people bye y'all